Hello friends, welcome to my presentation. In this slide, I am presenting to you how you should define your research. The components that define your research comprises of your research scope, your research problem, your research questions, your research aim and objectives, and your research topic. Now you would observe in this slide that I have shown a path that you should follow towards planning your research. In this slide, you would observe that the suggested path that you will follow towards defining your research is opposite of the path that your reader will follow in studying your research. This is because how can you define your research topic without knowing anything about your research at this stage? You will appreciate this better when you will know later in this presentation what all are required to be incorporated in a research topic. You should start your research by first studying the relevant literature, then defining your research scope, then the research problem, then writing your research questions, then defining your research aim and objectives, and finally evolving your research topic, while your reader will follow the opposite path in studying your research. Now let us analyze the prerequisites for defining your research questions, your research aim and objectives. First of all, you need to decide what is your favorite research field and you need to explore some existing theories in your favorite research field, reviewing at least 20 most relevant references. Then you should find out the possible gaps in knowledge in the context of your research setting. Your research setting comprises the subjects that you want to study. The subjects can be part of an organization, part of a community, part of a documentation archive, part of plant and machinery, part of set of processes, part of set of tasks and so on. Once you have understood the possible gaps in knowledge in the context of your research setting, you can finalize your research context and then you can identify the inquiries that you want to make through your research, through exploration, through description. And also you can identify the key variables and their known relationships if you want to conduct an explanation study. Then identify the possibility of new variables and the relationships and relationships between the existing variables such that you can define your hypothesis if you want to conduct an explanatory study. And finally, write down a narrowed down research scope, keeping in mind that your research should be smart, which means specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and timely. And then the last step in these prerequisites should be that you should write down the research problem statement. When you have completed your prerequisites, the next step is to write down your research questions for which you need to define the inquiries. The inquiries can be in the form of what, how, why, where, how much, how many and many more similar expressions. Then clearly mention the research context which you have defined in your prerequisites. Clearly mention the exploration inquiry if you are conducting exploratory research. Mention the description inquiry if you are conducting a descriptive research or mention the variables and the relationships that you want to evaluate if you are conducting an explanatory research. Now define the actors and clearly define the research setting. All of these need to be reflected in your research questions. Now let us take some examples. I have taken the examples from three published research studies, the references of which are mentioned at the bottom of this slide. Now let us verify the first research question. The question says, how local education stakeholders in Bougainville were involved in a dialogic process of curriculum development with peace academics from Australia for creating a locally relevant peace education curriculum. Now you will observe that this question has included all the aspects of a research question. For example, the context of the research reflected in this research question is peace education curriculum that is locally relevant to Bougainville. The actors are local education stakeholders and the peace academics from Australia. The inquiry is how and the inquiry context is dialogic process of curriculum development. 
So you would observe that all the aspects of the research have been included in this single research question. It appears to be a complex statement but it clearly talks about what the research intends to achieve. Now let us look at the second question. How culture, process, people and technical variables are interrelated in a multi-layered framework of customer relationship management? Again, you would observe here that the four variables, culture, process, people and technical are included in the question itself and the inquiry is about the interrelationship in a multi-layered framework of customer relationship management. This research question is clearly an explanatory inquiry. Let us look at the other two research questions which are part of the same research. What are the major issues of areas of concern for stakeholders that are exposed to cybercrime? And what steps might be taken by stakeholders to minimize the emerging cybercrime risks or threats? Now here as well, you can clearly see that the context of the research, the actors, the inquiry are clearly mentioned. Here we observe that the research questions have established clear directions for what we want to study, what is the context of the study, on whom we want to study. So the research questions establish directions for formulating your aim and objectives. And the aim of your research should be a single statement that describes your research type, reflects your research questions, reflects your research problem and reflects your research setting. Let us review the same examples the aim statement clearly reflects the inquiry in the research question and it also reflects all the components of the research question that we have analyzed earlier in very carefully crafted single sentences. Now let us analyze what are required in the research objectives. The research objective should comprise the objectives to be achieved in answering the research questions and should reflect how the success of the research will be ascertained. The research objectives should be linked directly with the research questions and should reflect the methodology part to some extent. Now let us go back to the same examples. You would observe that the research objectives are multiple statements linked with the research question. For example, in the case of the first research, there are three research objectives. The first research objective reflects that the method used for achieving this objective will be archival study while it also includes a part of the inquiry in the original research question and also included in the aim statement. Similarly, the other two objectives also reflect the methods to be used for achieving them. The second objective reflects that the method to be used will be interviewing. The third objective reflects that the method to be used will be focus group discussion. Similarly, the objectives of the other two research studies also reflect the methods that will be used to achieve them. To finalize your research topic, we should reflect the context of the research, should be a short and crisp converged statement without getting into the details that you have included in your research questions, in your aim and in your objectives. Now based on the examples, let us review the research topics. Now you would observe that the research topics highlight an abstract of your research questions, aim and objectives.